Our reading today begins with a group of people seeking after Jesus. They had been with Jesus in the days leading up to our story today. They were looking for Him because they wanted to continue to be with Him. After all, they had seen Jesus heal the sick and teach great lessons concerning the Kingdom of God. They even had lunch with Him. You remember the massive crowd that had gathered around Jesus and He was concerned for their physical well-being, therefore He provided a picnic for them. Not just any picnic, but one that also served as a sign to His true identity. He did that with a miracle when He took a boy's lunchbox with five loaves of barley bread and two fish, He blessed it, and then He had His disciples hand out fish sandwiches to 5,000 men plus women and children. Everybody got full, and there were 12 baskets of leftovers. Their experiences with Jesus led them to a very good conclusion about who Jesus really is. They said about Him, This is indeed the prophet who has come into the world. On one hand, they knew who He was, and they were so committed to pursuing Him that when they discovered Jesus had changed venues, they found out where He was, and they made their way to Him even though it required that they take a boat to get to the other side of the sea. That's commitment. It demonstrates that they agreed with the evidence that proved Jesus was a prophet, a rabbi like no other they had ever seen before. However, when they found Him, Jesus didn't give them a pat on the back for seeking Him or for believing that He was somebody special or significant. No, instead He challenged them that they were just following Him because they enjoyed having their belly fed and they weren't seeking things that were more important. Let's pause here. John, when writing the Gospel account, he was very purposeful when he crafted this masterpiece. Every single word was carefully chosen. In chapter 20, verse 30, John explains that this concise and deliberate text is for the purpose of believing that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in His name. This is the thesis of John, so let us pay attention to his use of the word believing and see in this story the kind of motivation that Jesus is looking for in His followers. Now back to this talk between Jesus and His seekers. He calls them to raise their sights to something far more important than lunch. He acknowledged their effort to find Him, but He tells them that they need to be about worthwhile work, the work of God. And He goes on to explain to them that instead of working for temporary meals that don't really satisfy, they should be about the work of God that leads to the discovery the bread of heaven, which gives life, real life. Jesus says, I am the bread of life, and when a person believes in me, they receive the gift of life. This provides the kind of satisfaction that cures the soul, that heals the heart and mind, that leaves one truly whole, both now and for eternity. In his discourse, Jesus explains that the ultimate provision of God the Father wasn't the past great events that are celebrated in Judaism. As important as those events were, they were pointing to a greater event. And that greater event, well, is actually a person. It's God Himself revealed fully God and fully man in Jesus. John's use of the word believing is better translated as having faith in to the extent of absolute and complete reliance. You see, believing in God's provision means to trust in Jesus for every single thing in your life now and forever. Even something as simple as the day-to-day -day experience of eating bread underlies the importance of not having our hope in anything this world has to offer, including even trying to offer our own good merit. Besides, you and I both know that our own merit could never be good enough. In closing, let me address something. Having your faith in Jesus is not a one-time event. And as much as some try to focus on a saving date or a have-decided date as being a one-time event that closes a deal or similar to making a contract, 
Jesus gives us this metaphor about being the bread. Bread is something that should be consumed daily. And by doing so, we remind ourselves that trusting in Him is our real work. That every day we're dependent on Him. So make it your practice to remember who you are and whose you are by leaning on Him. And we do that by spending time with Him in the Word of God and in conversation all day, every day. That's the believing He's looking for. And He gives us the grace to experience. Yeah.